Hey, Baraka Thayahoa, Baraka Thayahoa Shay. Baraka Thayahoa, Baraka Thayahoa Shay. Baraka Thayahoa, Baraka Thayahoa Shay. Kohaloyim, La Yahoa, Bahashem, Yahoa Shay. Bahashem, Raka Kudash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and uh, blessings and respect. Taught the brothers standing up in great boldness, all right, pushing this truth across the four corners of the earth, putting your freedom and lives at risk. In truth and sincerity, all right, to you I say, Shalom, all right, <clears throat> and this is an article, and um, we're going to read a little bit of this article and uh, go into the scriptures, all right, as we're supposed to, all right. It says, uh, going, can going cashless prevent coronavirus spread? Here's what the WHO wants you to know, and that WHO is the World Health Organization, all right? It says, as many Americans shop for supplies amid the coronavirus outbreak, concerns have circulated about whether handling cash can contribute to the spread of the virus. Some outlets reported that you should use contactless payment methods instead of paper money. Cash is notoriously covered in germs. Studies suggest that paper bills can contain bacteria and viruses, plus lead to the spread of disease. The lifespan of various bills range from up to 15 years, according to the Federal Reserve, meaning your bills have a lot of time to accumulate germs. Was Esau knew this? Esau knew. You know this, all right? When he created, you know this uh, fiat money, man. All right, and this is all his agenda, man. You know, he, you know, he pussyfoots, man, which means he moved cautiously, man. All right, and uh, let's just keep reading. All right, it says, and in China, where there are more than eighty thousand five hundred cases of COVID nineteen, which me, you know, being a man of the Lord, Lord willing, you know, hey, man, I see this number to be way more higher, man. And what Esau likes to do, he likes to downplay numbers. If Esau says, and this is, and this is an example, if he tell you that there were, you know, a thousand fatalities, man, all right, you could times that number by three, man. All right, because what he, he doesn't want to do at first is create panic, all right? He wants everyone to remain you know, calm, man. So when he tells you, oh, oh, 200 people are dead, man, it's really, you know, 1,800 people, man, all right? And it says, and in China where there are more than eight, 80,500 cases of COVID-19, banks begin disaffecting cash with ultraviolet or heat treatments in February to prevent the further virus, so like it, further spread of the virus. And I have to make mention of this also, all right? You can have the COVID-19 virus, all right, for 21 days without any symptoms, man. All right? But Esau, they, they, they only quarantine you for 14 days, man, which you can be quarantined for 14 days and then go back out to the world, all right? And you have the virus, and the symptoms won't show until a week later, all right? Which this devil knows that, man, all right? And um, <clears throat> it says, so what is the reality when it comes to the COVID-19 and cash? Despite reports, the World Health Organization was pushing people to use contactless payments. A spokesperson for the WHO tells CNBC, make it. It has not issued any warnings or statements about the use of cash. Instead, it reiterated that you should wash your hands, including after handling money, especially if you're eating or touching food. And I'm going to say this, all right? It is not easy, you know, to keep your hands washed. I mean, you could keep your hand washed if you're around a sink, all right? If you're at work, it's easy to keep your hands washed. But, you know, the average America... American is on the move, all right? You you leave work for a break, all right? You get in your car, you stop at a store, buy a few items, all right? You're touching money, all right? You, you, you're exchanging money. 
get in your car, stop at a drive through buy you a bike to eat. All right, you got to eat that on your way to work. <laughs> All right, you're touching your steering wheel, you putting your car in reverse, you're putting your car in drive, you're putting your car in park. All right, you're getting out of the car, you're going back into the work. All right, you're leaving work, you, 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 you out at the bar, you're exchanging money constantly with the bartender. You ain't going to just keep getting up, going into the bathroom, washing your hands every transaction. All right? So it's impossible. Hey, and, and people keep sanitizer on them, okay? But sanitizer is not made to, you know, apply to dirty hands. Man, sanitizer is made, you know, to after you wash your hands and they're clean, then you sanitize them, man. That's what sanitizer is for, man. All right? Anything that the soap doesn't... Uh, Get, man, sanitizers supposed to, you know, finish it, man. All right? So, man, you know, hey, you know, it's, it's hard to keep your hands washed. When you, you just, hey, the average American is just on a move, man. All right? And um, it says, for starters, the COVID-19 doesn't spread by penetrating the skin on your hands. Michael Knight, assistant professor at medicine at the George Washington School of Medicine and Health Sciences tells CNBC Make It. Getting coronavirus or other respiratory viruses like Uflesia on your hands only leads to infections when it comes when it's transferred from your hands to places like your mouth, nose, and eyes, he says. Additionally, if you're you sick, stick to contactless payments, but don't wash your hands after touching your phone or credit card. Or a payment terminal, you are still susceptible to the to potential infections. Knight says, and see, right there shows you that using your, your bank, your credit or debit card is not good enough to protect you from that virus. So ultimately, all right, ultimately, that's what a microchip is going to come into effect. Then, man. And, and I can see it from a mile away, man. And here at Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and elders on down, has been pushing this microchip, man. All right, we, 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 we told you that this is what Esau wanted to do, and this is what Esau is going to do, man. See, everything is, you know, working to this according to this devil's plans, man. Everything is, you know, he's sitting back on his desk, man. And it's, it's his meeting with his round table of all the Edomites, man. And they're just clapping up with cigars in their mouth, man. Snoring lines of blow, man. Happy, man. All right, because everything is going, going according to this devil's plan. But ultimately, everything is going according to prophecy, man. Because at the end of the day, this is how about Shimmy Shah's plan, man. All right, this devil doesn't control anything, man. But let's get into some scriptures, man. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. We're not ignorant of his devices. All right, let's go into this word devices, man. All right, the Greek translation, G3540, no ama, no ama, all right? A mental perception, a thought, an evil purpose. We're not ignorant to this devil, evil purpose, man. All right, hey, the first law in under the Georgia Godstones is what, man? To depopulate the, depopulate the population, man. To five hundred million, man. All right, ultimately, this devil wants to, you know, have everyone that's still on the planet Earth microchipped. All right, we know this, man. Esau wants to fulfill his new world order, man. And uh, let me get this precept, man. This is uh, Job chapter 5, I believe, verse 12. All right. It says, he disappointeth the devices of the crafty, so their hands cannot perform, perform their enterprise, man. So the Lord is going to disappoint these Edomites, man. The Lord is going to disappoint these elites, man. The Lord is going to disappoint the devil, man. All right. Which is the so-called white, man, which we've been telling you all this. For, for years now, man. Decades, man. Starting with the apostles and elders. Starting with Abba Bibbins, man. We've been explaining to you that the so-called white man, these elites, man, are the devil, man. All right? But you people are about to find out, man. All right? I'm going to read this back. Job 5 and 12. 
he disappointeth the devices of the crafty. So their their in hands cannot perform their enterprise, man. All right, so hey, man, it's gonna be a time in Esau's agenda where the Lord is gonna upset him, man. The Lord is gonna upset him, man. Esau come out with his, his microchip, man. Hey, the elect not gonna get it, man. See, that's one thing Esau can't do, man. He's not going to get the elect, man, to bow down to him in these days, man. They're not going to worship him, man. They're not going to get his RFID microchip, man. He's not going to be able to break the elect, man. The Lord is going to disappoint this devil, man. All right, verse 13, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong, all right? Because, hey, man, this devil... His, his whole agenda is his is to uh, fulfill his new world order, man. And, and, and in doing so, he have to get you know the, the 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 population of the earth, man, to take his RFID microchip, man. Which man, the, the chip is the mark of the beast, man. For all you people that don't believe or still can't understand, I'm gonna say it slow. The microchip, the RFID microchip, is the mark of the beast. All right, and let's get this, man. All right, this is Revelations uh, 13 and uh, 15, all right? It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many of would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, man. All right? And that image, all right, is talking about the Roman Empire, man. All right, which is, hey, all these Edomites, man, you know, all these damn Edomites, they all don't want to court. I don't want to hear about Russia, you know, I don't want to hear about Turkey, man, they all Edomites, man, they all a part of that beast system, man, all right, and if you don't, you know, worship the beast, man, you're going to be put to death, man, so anyone who refuses the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast is what I'm going to call it, all right, because that's what it is, all right. You're going to be put to death, man. All right? Hey, and if you get... And let me, I'm a, I don't want to talk about the scriptures read. Verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So that sums up everyone, man. Whether you rich or poor. All right? Whether, you know, you 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 free or you in jail. All right? You know, he this, this, this is going to be forced upon you, man. All right, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, when we read that article, it said that um, even using your debit card, bank card, or credit card, you know, want you know, prevents you from getting the, the 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 virus, man. All right, because if you touch your card or you put it in your wallet and put your wallet in your pocket, now you didn't touch the wallet, and you know, it's just. You got to, sometimes when you use your credit or debit card, you got to punch in numbers. So what if someone, you know, use their debit card, punch in numbers, you use yours after them and punch in numbers. Now you got the virus. So now they're going to, you know, they're going to go deeper now. Oh, oh, well, just get this chip and plant it in your hand and just scan it. All right. But let's keep reading. It says, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, man. So that's how you know that it's talking about the microchip because you're not going to be able to buy or sell or save without it. Esau's going to push, you know, the world into going, you know, to, uh, to using debit and credit cards, all right? And then he's going to do away with the debit and credit cards, and he's going to, and what's is going to lead the people into, Hey, he's going to come out with a chip or this is uh, he's this is the safety method, man. Everyone's supposed to get this chip because, hey, man, this is the only way you can get your money, man. You get money every month. It's the only way you can receive your benefits. It's the only way you can, you know, receive your food stamps, man. All right. Hey, man, the police pull up on you. They're going to have some type of device where you can scan it, you know, scan the chip on. It's going to pop up your ID and things like that. The things they need to see, man. And they're going to tell you to do away. Hey, they, they, Esau is trying to move this to a cashless society, man. But he's, like I said, he's pussyfooting and doing so, man. All right. But, hey, man, you how about Shemiah Shah, man? 
And he already said, man, what would be the outcome if you receive this chip, man? You damn if you do and damn if you don't, man. But if you receive this chip, man, the Lord is going to... And I'm a fact, let me, let's just read it, man. It's Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hands or in his hand or at right hand, left hand, hey, man, butt, cheek, knee, leg, Ear, you get the chip anywhere, man. This is gonna be the this is gonna be the punishment for you, man. All right. Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he will shall be tormented, man. You're gonna be tormented with fire and brimstone, man. So hey, the Lord gonna save you for those missiles, them intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. All right. Those 200 million warheads, man, all right? And it says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, man. All right, so that's going to be your punishment for taking this RFID microchip, man. All right, so hey, I hope this was edifying, and I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekha Kudash Wa Abad Babal Shalom.